Hey everyone, welcome back to Bold Faith Bible. I have uh, my friend here, Ken Hayden, who is uh, a volunteer with the Word of Life Bible Institute. He does uh, some amazing work just connecting alumni, and, uh, in, and he's been kind of showing me around the Bible Institute. And uh, I, I just want to allow you guys to hear from him directly um, about some of what the Bible Institute has meant for him. Ken, could you just share a little bit about the, what the Bible Institute has meant for you? Yeah, uh, the Bible Institute was where I met some of my uh, closest friends today. Uh, I also met my wife through the Bible Institute. And uh, our, our children, uh, I have a, we have a son who is a graduate of the Bible Institute and our, I have a son that is currently here in the second year and our youngest uh, our daughter will be here this fall as a student as well. So it's uh, been a very big part of our life. Yeah, and uh, what was the most impactful um, person in your in your experience here at Bible Institute? I would say that uh, one of our professors, Chris Miller, uh, just made the Bible come to life and made it very real and practical uh, in his teaching. Yeah, and uh, and you, you said that you, you've made a lot of friends uh, over the years. How have you guys kind of kept in contact? Well, uh, I was uh, I was a student here at the Bible Institute back in the 80s. 80, I went in 85, graduated in 86. And we didn't have uh, technology like uh, we do today. Uh, there was no internet. Uh, and it was just, a, when I graduated, it was just like a, almost like a finality. It was uh, uh, the end, an ending. Uh, but we, uh, when Facebook came on the scene, uh, a lot of us reconnected. Uh, we had a very uh, large uh, 25th class reunion uh, and uh, just uh, stayed in contact. And uh, since then, uh, through Facebook, and we've had more reunions uh, since the 25th. Uh, so it's just been a really great, uh, some of my best friends now are uh, classmates from the BI. Now, Word of Life in its name is Word, the Word of God, right? Um, how, how central is the Word of God to the teaching of what happens here at the Bible Institute? It's, it's what the Bible Institute is all about. Uh, the students go through the Bible about three times while they're here. Uh, we have uh, resident professors that teach the uh, basic courses like uh, Bible survey, Old Testament survey, New Testament survey, and the theology courses. Uh, and then we, they bring in uh, professors, guest professors from all around the country uh, that are experts uh, in their field, uh, a particular book. Uh, they'll teach a book or uh, a topic uh, that they are uh, experts at. Uh, so, and that's very important. As I've uh, told people before, uh, this is the only place I've ever seen students sitting around lunch tables, dinner tables, with their Bibles open, discussing uh, outside of class and not, not trying to get their homework done, but just uh, the things that are inspired. Tell, tell me a little bit about uh, what makes the Bible Institute unique with, with everyone being part of one class. Yeah, that's, so you, when you go to other colleges, you, your roommates, uh, could be studying one thing, whether it's business, and somebody else could be studying nursing or education. Uh, but here, where we're, they're all studying the very same thing, they go to class together. Uh, so there's uh, uh, almost 200 students in the first year class, and another 100 to 150 sometimes in the second year class. Uh, but they're all studying the same thing. So your your roommates often you may be mixed in with first year and second year students but you, most of your roommates will be studying the same thing that you're studying, uh, so it's very, it makes collaboration, uh, studying hours, you know, they have required study hours if your a GPA is below a certain level, uh, but it's, uh, it's just a very unique uh, experience to be able to be on the same page as everybody else, uh, you're doing the same projects, uh, uh, so it's, uh, I think it's a very unique experience. Now, one of the things is everyone comes, uh, so many people come straight from high school and a lot of students haven't learned uh, a lot of spiritual discipline and I know that's always been one of the cornerstones here at the Bible Institute, almost like a boot camp. Mm. Um, what does the Bible Institute do to kind of structure, help people structure their lives to get uh, their studies done? 
Uh, it, it's very structured. There's a schedule. Uh, it's not as rigid as it was uh, when I was a student, uh, but they're still you know, required. Uh, like I said, the study hours are required if your GPA is so above a certain level. They have assigned time in the morning uh, for quiet time. Uh, that does get a little relaxed like, during the snow camp uh, semester. Uh, with their busy schedule, they just have to have it completed by the end of the day. But it's uh, there's just this. Uh, uh, it's very structured. Uh, meals are not required, uh, encouraged, uh, and the meals are very good here. Uh, when I was a student here. I think the only meal that was not required was lunch. Uh, we had, we were, had to get up for breakfast. Uh, the students don't have to get up now for breakfast, uh, uh, but it's uh, uh, very, there, there's a schedule for everything. I think that, I think that it's good to develop a pattern uh, so when you do leave here, uh, you have got that uh, established in your life, uh, spending time in God's Word, uh, making certain things a priority, and uh, I think it's uh, very valuable a lesson to learn and to integrate into your life. So a student wakes up in the morning and uh, hopefully they go to breakfast, but maybe not. Uh, but then they have that structured quiet time where everyone is having quiet time at the same time if it's, if it's not snow camp, right? right. And then they, then they go to classes all together. Um, but then there's also daily chapel, right? Uh, they do chapel twice a week. Twice a week. It's, it's uh, Wednesdays and Fridays. They have a, a Wednesday is Chancellor's Chapel where uh, Don Locke uh, selects the speakers and there'll be pastors. It could be uh, another uh, university president. Somebody coming in will come in to speak to the students uh, on Fridays on, on on Wednesdays. And then Friday's chapel is a ministries chapel, uh, more of a family uh, type uh, family time. Uh, and it's usually a staff person will be sharing uh, something with the students there. Uh, the other thing also that uh, as far as structure is that uh, students have required work assignments uh, and that is more, you know, it, it, it does help to keep the cost down uh, but a lot of our students are working in the kitchen, they're working in, uh, in maintenance and doing a lot of the work here. Whether some of them are working in the academic office and doing uh, grading. Uh, but it's, uh, and again, it's all part of the uh, developing them. Some of them learn some tremendous skills. You can work in the media uh, department in productions because all, all the classes are recorded and there's cameras, there's uh, audio production. Uh, uh, we have sports teams now and our, our home games are live streamed and uh, we've been blessed with some tremendous equipment. And I, I, I watch other schools' games and the quality of our uh, photography of our video and the sound uh, is excellent and I think these are skills that these students learn whether it's in video production or working in the kitchen uh, that they can take with them elsewhere. We also have uh, the last few years we've got a security uh, team uh, and uh, those are mostly students uh, but they have to get trained and certified uh, and in New York State they're required to be licensed security guards. They don't carry weapons, they don't carry guns or anything like that, uh, but they are trained as security guards and, and basic first aid. And that's, uh, that is a credential that they will take with them uh, that Word of Life pays for. Uh, and, they, and that is their job assignment while they're a student here is working uh, in security in the health centers. And then ministries are also a core component of the student experience. Could you explain snow camp and camps and... Yeah, uh, and the, the, in addition to the work assignment, they would have a ministry assignment. Uh, and it's a little different than it used to be when I was here. They, they, uh, we, but we still have uh, teams that go out on weekend ministries and serve in churches, uh, serve with CEF. Uh, uh, but during, during the, after they come back from their Christmas break, uh, we go right into uh, seven weeks of snow camp. Uh, every weekend there will be upwards of 300 or more uh, middle school and high school uh, age kids, uh, campers that will come here for the weekend and our students serve in a program uh, still and, then, and then, then their work assignment, they may be assigned to work in the kitchen, that's their ministry because they are uh, uh, working, our, our goal is every camper uh, to take the next step with Jesus, whether it's for salvation or dedication, but uh, it all uh, works together. You can be assigned to work on the two bill, uh, snowmobiles. Uh, there's just so many activities going on. So much to do, and the students are students run all of that uh, under the leadership of our camp staff. Um, 
and right and right now, as in the next uh, uh, next weekend, uh, the entire first year class is going down to New York City, uh, and they do open air campaigning uh, uh, there in New York City. Uh, this is our second time doing this as an entire class. Uh, we go down and stay in the motel, and we have uh, our uh, uh, open air. Uh, evangelism staff uh, under the direction of Sam Fry. Uh, we'll be going out with the, partnering with the different groups and going uh, all throughout the city and in subway stations and street corners and parks and uh, sharing the gospel. And, and of course over the summer there is uh, mandatory, is it still mandatory? Um, yeah. Camping? camping so. Yeah, uh, they're, they, don't gra they, they don't graduate, they're academic uh, training is done uh, in May and then they go on the summer break but if they want to graduate uh, and get their diploma or certificate uh, they are required to complete uh, a camping uh, experience in the summer and they actually get credit for that as well it's all part of the experience it's a practical experience but yeah we have uh, we have camp here in New York uh, we have a ranch for the younger kids uh, the, the ridge is for middle school students and then we have an island in Schoon Lake uh, for the teens, uh, for high school age kids to go. Uh, and it's, uh, I mean, it is the highlight, it's the capstone of your year uh, at the Bible Institute is the, the summer of uh, camp. And we'll also, we also have uh, the high school students that come in and serve uh, in, as camp crew uh, under the leadership of a, by, the Bible Institute students. So, uh, they, again, they'll be working in. Uh, the kitchens that were working in productions because uh, camp you now you've got three camps going on plus we have the family camp over uh, across the road across Route 9 at the campground uh, called the Pines uh, and got, we need uh, a staff over there working in kitchen and maintenance uh, and just uh, this uh, plenty of opportunities to do and so we have high school students that come here and will serve for the summer as part of our camp crew and they'll be under the direction of a Bible Institute student that will uh, counsel, supervise them and pour into them and again that is all part of the uh, training for the Bible Institute and the experience that they would uh, get now they're supervising uh, staff and so it's just invaluable experience. Yeah. Uh, and now this is Word of Life New York that we're at but Word of Life is all around the world, isn't it? It is. Uh, they are currently now in over 81 countries around the world, uh, and they are, they, most of them have similar uh, uh, camps, uh, Bible institutes. We have, I believe there's 11 accredited Bible institutes that are all accredited under this campus uh, around the world, and there are several others that are not accredited. Uh, I know that the Ar Argentina is actually accredited under another uh, accreditation agency, but uh, uh, there are 11 that all fall under uh, New York, the New York accreditation. And we're talking, what, tens of thousands, hundreds of thousands of people who have been saved oh. under the ministry of Word of Life uh, yeah. worldwide? Absolutely. It is uh, uh, amazing. You know, uh, Word of Life has been around for over 75 years now. Uh, started with Jack Wurzen in uh, New York City. Uh, and the radio ministry and uh, uh, youth, uh, primarily focused on youth evangelism uh, but it held huge rallies that uh, filled Madison Square Garden and uh, they used to do productions that we took on the road uh, and just traveled across the United States putting on uh, massive productions that were telling the Easter story or uh, they had a Christmas productions that they would take and do and uh, yeah, th th thousands of people have uh, uh, made professions of faith uh, through the ministry of Word of Life. And through all that time, uh, Word of Life has stayed grounded in the Word of God and teaching uh, pure, conservative, uh, biblical doctrine. Right? Um, what, what does the Bible Institute teach that is not biblical? Oh, I don't teach anything that isn't biblical. Uh, it's all founded on the Bible. The, uh, the methods may change, uh, but the message uh, has not changed. So everything that we teach here at the Bible Institute is, it can be pointed to chapter and verse in the Bible where they're getting that from. Yes. And that is, uh, for me, the most exciting and most encouraging thing, honestly. 
to see all these young people passionate about the Word of God and, and, and learning just, just the Bible inside and out. If you, if you don't know your Bible inside and out uh, by the time you're done here, uh, do you graduate? No. <laughs> yeah. Well, thank you so much for your time. And folks, if you, if you want to look at some more information about the Word of Life Bible Institute, I'm going to have a link down in the comments down below uh, and description down below. So if you want to check that out, you can see the website and they got some videos and such up on there as well. Uh, God bless you all. Bold Faith Bible out.